morning, everyone. We have made it to London. I am very cold. It is chilly today. We are, where are we going first? I don't even Abbey know. Road. Okay, we're going to Abbey Road. The Beatles Crossing. Yes, the Beatles Crossing. We're gonna take our uh, iconic picture. We're missing our fourth Beatle. We don't know who they are, but <laughs> it's gonna be a great day. Look you guys, it's so pretty. Got like a little oh, is cold. flower garden over here. Yeah, it's definitely cold. <laughs> so we've made it to St. John's Wood, which is where Abbey Road is. And we're gonna walk by the iconic crosswalk, as well as Abbey Road Studios. I'm just so happy. If I could have told like high school Carrie that I'd be doing this, she wouldn't believe it. Oh, my collar's popped. That's kind of douchey. <laughs> Not intentional. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're doing it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so basic. I'm sorry, I can't help it. It's me, back in my same editing spot. I had to give a little bit of context again for this next clip because this was the biggest shit show of my life. <laughs> when we walked up to the Abbey Road crosswalk, if you guys watch Alexa's Outfits of the Week video, she's like, I'm not really a big Beatles fan. Like I, you know, I grew up on different kind of music. My parents were into kind of like metal. Like I never really grew up on that kind of music. And meanwhile, I'm like the biggest Beatles fan, like literally means so much to me. Like I'm obsessed with them. And so Alexa, when we got up to the crosswalk, she's like, oh, will you take a video of me first? And I'm like, yeah, sure, no problem. And she walked across the crosswalk. It was beautiful. And sunny and then like literally as soon as I took that video clip of her the clouds came over the sky and like literally I'm not even kidding 50 people showed up out of nowhere there was no there were like maybe two people there when we first got there and then after Alexa went and like got her little clip we were I was like well we have time I'll take my time you know whatever so all we wanted to get when we were there was like a photo of me in the crosswalk as well as like a clip of me walking across it and then like a clip of the three of us or like a photo of the three of us but this was the most unorganized chaotic like as soon as one person would go another person would start going there was no line there was no like taking turns there was no system at all whatsoever it was just absolutely <laughs> just sad it was just really funny because I desperately wanted to get this shot and we tried so hard and here are all of the many failed attempts at me getting my shot and my photo. Story of my life. I got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, good. Good. yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. I wish you the most Yes! Look at it. Okay. Yeah, go, go, go. Oh no. Just go! <laughs> you guys, that was not as uh, fun as I anticipated. <laughs> that was very stressful, very disorganized. We were desperately trying to organize and get a line going, but you know what? We got our shots. We are now stopping to get some lunch at Pret, which has become my new favorite thing here. I know we have a couple in the US. I think they're in maybe New York and like maybe Chicago. I know for sure New York. We're gonna stop and get some lunch. I got like an avocado, cucumber, tomato wrap. Alexa got some fruit and nuts. Jasmine got some mango and lime. She already, she's already eaten a lot. We're sharing this kale and cauliflower mac and cheese. Then I got a decaf soy latte and she gave it to me on the house and I don't know why. She was just like on the house. I was like, thank you. You kind, kind woman, so. 
here. And it's delicious. So yeah, we're just eating some lunch. And then we're gonna head to Notting Hill, which is like a kind of like fancy area. We're gonna take some cute pics and then call it a day early because we've been out every single day. <laughs> and then uh, Jasmine's gonna go to a pool class tonight. Alexa and I are gonna hang out, watch the bake off, I'm sure. Obviously. I can't believe it's our last day in like London, so. Same. It was a lost resort. <laughs> our friend Ariel's brushing her hair. <laughs> just, just a normal day in London. <laughs> and then she's gonna eat with that fork afterwards. No, <laughs> We're just taking a stroll to a Starbucks for Alexa's coffee needs. <laughs> We've come to a very popular Instagram I spot. Took a photo like this <laughs> to get that, and it turned out. Oh wow, that's actually really cute. <laughs> oh my god, it's a very popular spot. It's beautiful, blossoming cherry blossom tree. It's so gorgeous. These two are absolutely killing it. <laughs> this girl's barefoot and she's thriving. And she's working that white dress. Yes, girl. Get that wedding dress barefoot vibe. Okay, I'm gonna channel. Yes. Even their trash cans were fancy. The Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea. Darling! This neighborhood is just absolutely insane. I feel like I always say this when I'm vlogging, but the camera like absolutely does not do it justice. Like it doesn't even look the same. It's just so beautiful. There's a lot of rich people. Apparently Ed Sheeran lives here in Notting Hill. Is that correct? Yeah, so. That's the rumor. Alexa and I were saying like kind of like a Manhattan type of vibe, but like real fancy Manhattan. But instead of like brownstones, they're all like white or colorful and oh, so beautiful. Millions of dollars. We saw a listing on one of the windows and it was like anywhere from a million to like 4.5 million typically. Oh, there was one for six. Oh, there was one for six, you're right. Alexa and I are in like our denim and like <laughs> grunge looks today. Got taking photos. On. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> taking photos in front of the cherry blossom tree as you guys saw with like these bloggers with their Chanel dresses oh, yeah. and the, this girl had a Louis Vuitton bag yeah, and just I was like, holding a, like a bag of like product like not a purse but like she had just shopped there made it home and a momentous, momentous occasion is happening. I'm so excited. First of all, I'm matching this like pastel theme of this couch and that's really cute, but Jasmine is making us. No, it's gonna be amazing. It's a traditional, well, kind of modified because yeah, a vegetarian Sunday roast because on Sunday, wait, what were we doing on Sunday? We were in London. But we were, we were in London. And we were like dead. I think that was the night that I slept 45 minutes. So and everything closed super early. Yep, everything closed early. We didn't have a chance. So we are like doing our Sunday roast on a Tuesday. And I'm very excited about it. I have very high hopes. And Jasmine keeps saying that she questions like the fact that we're going to like it. And I'm like, we're going to love it. It's gravy, potatoes, stuffing, and all my favorite vegetables. Like, I'm going to love it. And I've never tried a Yorkshire pudding, which is like... The thing that I'm the most excited about and she's like I don't know if you're gonna like it and I'm like it's dough it's bread <laughs> it's like some kind of baked dough I'm like I'm gonna be obsessed with it so yeah I can't wait now I feel like I've really like crossed the threshold into like English territory because now I can say that I've had a roast dinner so I'm very excited cool. quickly we're gonna show a little segment called why everyone needs a kettle because Jasmine says that Americans are seriously missing out without one because we only make tea with that, but... No, we make tea with it, but then we boil it, and it takes a couple of seconds while you're doing this, and then you pour in there, and then it's already starting to bubble. So I'm not waiting so you've already five got minutes boiling water. for it to boil. Like, it's done. It's ready to go. It's freaking boiling. 
So that's what she says they do a lot with cooking. They'll boil the water, then put it on the thing. Which I thought was completely normal until I put it on YouTube and people were like, what is this kettle? Yeah. <laughs> a few moments later. All right, guys. Wow. Here's my gravy. She wants me to try it first before I dump it all on, but I'm just going to dump it. It looks <laughs> so good. So we got some crispy potatoes, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, carrots, more potatoes, stuffing, Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's this? Parsnip. Oh yeah, parsnip. Oh. Sorry, I forgot about that too. Okay, here I go. Yeah, it's like a croissant or something. It's delicious. Yes. Yeah, everything is good. I love it. Give it to me every week. I'm coming over every Sunday. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Yes. Can't believe you just made all this. This is the best thing ever. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh wow. That's so good. <laughs> it is actually now 11.30 at night. Okay, oh, I don't know why I ever do this because you can't see it. There you go. I can't believe it's so late. We've been, I just took off my makeup and like missed half of it, so forgive me. So actually Alexa and Jasmine and I, after we had dinner, Jasmine went to um, her class, her workout class, and Alexa and I just kind of like sat around, watched the bake-off, watched some YouTube videos, chatted a little bit, made a plan for Brighton tomorrow, and then Jasmine got home and we had like a long conversation just about YouTube. We haven't really gotten to do that because we've been so busy, so we get to like just have like lots of good chats and it's been amazing. And I just can't believe that tomorrow's my last full day. Like what the heck? That is so crazy. Make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog because it's gonna be our last full day. So hopefully we'll get lots of good footage and be able to make some more memories before it's time to go. I literally can't believe it. Like this has been the fastest week of my life. Like it sometimes feels like I've been here for a month and then other times feels like I got here yesterday. It's really crazy. But yeah, we were all just talking about it tonight and just really enjoying our time together. And it's been just such a lovely, lovely trip. I love those girls so much. So yeah, I'm gonna give Drew a quick phone call. He's sick, which makes me really sad that I can't be there to take care of him. So I'm glad I'll be heading home soon, even though he'll probably be feeling better by the time I get home. And then I'm heading to bed. So I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you tomorrow for another full day of vlogging. Bye.